you forget that you know a lot of these are, are young guys and and you know you can sense there from listening to Dara O'Shea and how excited they must be about the prospect of what's coming on Monday night to play a team of the calibre of France in front of a packed Aviva stadium what do you think yeah, they're feeling I think of, of course for every professional footballer you want to represent your country and to play against the, the best players in the world uh, and obviously France have got some of the most incredible players so the players uh, the Irish team they're going to have to be switched on they're going to love the opportunity. Hopefully, they can keep them quiet for 20, 25 minutes and grow into the game. I think they probably need a few more leaders. Obviously, Seamus is mm. uh, is the most experienced within the squad. They could do with a few more leaders. Like when I was playing back in the day, you had Duffer, Robbie Keane, Roy Keane, you know, leaders on that pitch. And um, yeah, it's a young squad at the moment, but these are the games where they're only going to learn from. Um, is is Coleman's availability key, Brian? For for that reason, um, he's he's nursing a tie strain, according to to what Stephen Kenny said said yesterday. Um, that sort of leadership is it going to be important on Monday? I would think so, but I'm not sure that that Stephen Kenny uh, values it that highly because when you look at the squad and the change in the squad over the last couple of years, a lot of the more experienced players have been eased out. That needed to be done all right, but it's been quite dramatic. You see, like say Shane Duffy is gone now, Horahan is gone, Robbie Brady is gone, um, and several other players, Callum Robinson is injured, Dave McGoldrick packed her in. And, and he's gone towards a much younger group all round. So the question is, would he play Seamus Coleman and Matt Doherty? Matt Doherty always, almost always plays. So does he accommodate Coleman as one of the three centre-backs and Doherty as the wing-back on the right-hand side or play both of, them, both of them in the wing-back position? I think that was unlikely. He has plenty of people for the central, central defensive areas. So I'm not sure that he'd be grievously upset if, if uh, Seamus Coleman doesn't doesn't make it. Although he has talked mm. about him saying that this is his best time in his career. I'm not sure that's his best time in his career because there was a time when Seamus was like yourself, bombing up and down the flank and scoring goals and contributing in that way. Now he's a defensive back four player for, for Everton and, and has been playing regularly, been playing well because of scored injuries. Scored a great goal there. Uh, and scored goal, a very goal good goal. Month, goal well, goal to, was goal it goal to, goal? the month, it was goal of the month. I'm not sure it was even best goal of the week that week, but it won goal of the month at the end. But he, he is, he's playing regularly and playing well. But I, I think it's important that some of the experienced players play in this game, but I'm not sure that the manager thinks that's very important, yeah. very experienced players. Um, 